Mix Nutters, it's your boy Marcus, and I'm back in black. And today we're gonna be discussing the the old Happy New Year uh, model. But you know what? We gotta look at a story about matching energies. All right, and this one right there is gonna be a doozy. Coming up next. Alright, mix others. Before we proceed, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time we drop a video, which is either gonna be Monday or Friday, of course. And uh, you know what? Hit us with that super like. We greatly appreciate it. Alright, and check out these mixed nuts friends, alright? These guys are super talented, they're available on all platforms. And check us out. We on uh Instagram that mix nuts 3000 Again, that mix nuts 3000 Run it. Okay, and you know, it's a lot of things we shouldn't be doing in uh, what's that in uh, 2024 that we were doing in 2023, but let's just really take a look at the number one thing I think we should be doing, which is matching energies. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this first story here. Debbie Stevens, a 47 year old woman from Long Island, claims she was fired from her job at Atlantic Automotive Group after donating a kidney to her boss, Jackie Brucia. Stevens filed a complaint with the New York State Human Rights Commission alleging that she was mistreated and fired after the woman got what she wanted. So Stevens hired, was hired as an assistant by Brucia in 2009, donated her kidney to a stranger to help Brucia move up on the organ donor list. Now despite not being the best match, Stevens underwent the surgery in August 2011. Upon her return to work, Stevens alleged mistreatment including screaming, demotion, and relocation to a dealership far from her home. When you really take a look at the story, right? This lady, you know, man, she, she she didn't even know her like that, but then she went in and offered up her kidney and did all this, and then immediately got turned on, right? She was trying to do a good thing, which is always admirable, of course, but you know, you want to make sure that you, you're not, uh, you know, going above and beyond for somebody that would not do that for you. And not everything got to be, you know, quid pro quo, or whatever, but let's not waste our energy on people who don't also support us. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of that in the world, whether they starting some new business or whatever, or writing a book, whatever the case is, uh, they need support, but they don't put support back out there. Mm -mm, don't do that, especially when it comes to your damn body parts. All right, the kidney thing. That boy, this motherfucker is a better person than I've ever been in my life. I ain't donating no kidney to somebody who barely, you know, who like a work friend, bro. Like that, that, that they don't even support me like this, and I don't even know her like that because she didn't really know her like that, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? She just got there. And then what happens soon as she get back to work? They're like, it's taking you too long to recover. Like, that's some weird ass hardcore shit to say to somebody. Like, we're like we're just, I gave you my kidney. You're like, hurry up, motherfucker. Get better. Like, what the? And then you fire that motherfucker? Like, soon as she put a complaint in? Like, I know she was looking at you like, it did this shit for you. Like, I mean, who is to say how long it take to recover from, like, a, you know, a, a body part getting taken out? I mean, of course, she was feeling better. She didn't want to need a damn kidney, right? Like, I know as soon as she got a functional one, shit was on and popping. But that's why you should be matching people's energies, right? It's not like a mean or petty thing that I'm saying right here. I'm saying match the level of support you're receiving, all right? If you ain't getting none, don't feel like you got to put none out there, especially some uh donating the organ type level of support like that shit is crazy all right that is for loved ones right you should not be doing that for just any old random asshole or just somebody you work with just or just to be a good person about it i mean you can be a good person but without doing that you know what i'm saying like don't i won't know if you want to overextend yourself on that level all right because you can end up like this lady all right it's not like you can like necessarily snatch it back or like you know i don't know i don't even know how that would work i don't think you have any claim to that whatsoever at this point 
but that's still a very shitty thing. And I've heard stories about this in the past too. People, people are like dating or whatever, and then or married or something, and then somebody donated a kidney, and then next thing you know, they, he get better, and then he wind up cheating on her or something like that, and then you know what I mean. The, in the divorce, you know, you can't get your kidney back. You know, you maybe have to take the the bedroom suit or something. You know what I'm saying? Or one of the cars or the vacation home, but your kidney gone like a motherfucker. So just be real careful with body parts. I don't know if you really want to just be giving them shits out. But if you do, make sure it's a motherfucker you truly care about and who truly care about you. Because this shit was nightmare fuel. I'm like, you did that shit for a work, motherfucker? That shit is insane, bro. Like, well, you gotta have it. You gotta spare kidney for a reason. That's for, like, random family members. Like, like if I did that for a work friend, that would have that friend would have to be, like, family, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Ugh just crazy man but just to have the tables turn on you like that damn fast you know what i'm saying like that has to be and you know this it wasn't ran by hr because that got to be a conflict of interest like you're giving your boss a kidney like i mean i'm i expect some favoritism nigga like you better treat me well like you know what i'm saying give you a damn kidney so i mean but looking back on 2023 though ah. Uh, Glad that shit's over, bro. This is this is how I felt about uh, 2023. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, right? I mean, it was uh, just brutal, bro. It just kept getting more brutal. 2023 was so damn long that I was looking back at events that happened and thought they were from other years. But this been this year. That's how much shit's been happening. So I don't even know, man. I just long and terrible. All right, next notice, that is it for me today. I'm about to make like a baby and head out. If you want to support the channel, go to buymeacoffee.com slash mixnuts. We got new videos coming either Monday or Friday. Of course, you can check us out on uh, Instagram at mixnuts3000. And until next time, 